What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. So the last two weeks in One Hive have been jam-packed full of base building. We have been going crazy building Town Hall 12 bases to get ready for DreamHack Dallas and for the Poland World Championship qualifiers. And we have a team going out there. We have my team going to DreamHack Dallas. We leave in the morning. Our team arrived in Poland yesterday. And so we want to go over some base building here today. We're going to be concentrating on Town Hall 9, but these concepts apply to everybody, not just Town Hall 9s. So stay tuned all the way to the end because we are going to go over first the concepts of traps and then we're going to build a base completely from scratch and we're going to see if we can make it even better than this one. And that's it, guys. Let's go get into this. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into the action. All right, guys, to build a base from scratch, we need to understand the base building concepts here. The first is placement of spring traps. So we wanna make sure that spring traps are placed between two defenses that have a one tile gap separation between them. That'll make so that no matter which direction the troops come from, they're gonna step on that spring trap and they're all gonna be bunched up. And that'll make so those spring traps get as many troops as possible sprung off the map there and they're gonna get the most effect out of them. So here's a couple other examples of different ways that you can place them, but you wanna go through and make sure that your base has as many of these types of locations around it as possible. And that'll make so you have lots of good spring trap locations to put around your base. If you have a really separated base, then it's not gonna be very good for spring traps. Here's another example of one way that you can do it. And we have some examples of some bad ways to do it here. So we have, if you have a spring trap that's kind of, they're gonna hit it on the run, you're not gonna get as much effect out of it or they'll just completely miss it all together. So if they have to hit a wall, even if you switch this and put this uh, spring trap on the other side of the wall so they're jumping the wall and then landing on it, it's still not good because if they came from the other direction, they wouldn't hit it and you're not gonna get as much value out of your spring trap. So let's make sure that every spring trap on the base is in between two defenses like this and not like this. If we have spring traps like this, then if they come from the expo side, then they would be hitting this one on the run and you will have a less chance of hitting uh, all the troops and you'll have a chance that they might just spring it and miss all of them. So you want to make sure that you have these defenses touching like that in all of your spring trap locations to get the best effect out of them. And the next defense is the small bombs. The small bombs are your primary way to deal with the wall breakers. You don't want to use small bombs for anything else. You want to make sure that you're focusing them on areas where the people are going to be breaking into your base with wall breakers, usually around your archer queen. So we want to make sure that we have these at any compartment that could open up and give access to your archer queen so people can't go in with like a queen charge or a kill squad and have easy access. This will make them fail their entry and usually fail the attack. So a small bomb is very important to make sure that you have those properly uh, position there to stop and make those wall breakers fail. So how do you position these? Well, we want to put them between buildings, first of all, because when wall breakers run up, they're going to run in between the buildings. They're not going to run through it. And so we want to path them over these small bombs and make sure that they go off and kill those wall breakers. So we want them to actually be two tiles away from the wall here. If they are one tile, then the diffuse timer on that small bomb uh, may not go off in time and they'll still get the wall break. And so you want to make sure this is off the wall, but if they're under a rage, those wall breakers are under a rage, then they still will not uh, be able to get in. So you want to make sure we're two tiles off because if they're under a rage, they'll be able to run up and uh, get to the wall fast enough and it'll be the same as a non-rage wall breaker with the bomb against the wall. So we put it two tiles off and that'll get it whether it's under a rage or not. And that'll make sure that those wall breakers never get access into the base. So next up, we will look at the giant bomb locations. All right, so giant bombs should be placed between defenses that have a two tile gap in between them. So basically everywhere that you don't put spring traps, then you're gonna put the giant bombs there. And just like spring traps, we wanna keep those giant bombs away from the area on the base where the archer queen is. Because if somebody's going in after your archer queen, then they're gonna be sending in other troops like hogs, something to wrap around the base outside of that area. And we wanna make sure that they hit as many spring traps and giant bombs as they can after they take down that queen and that'll make so that we can stop them in their tracks. So we can also use giant bombs external to the base here and make so that we can uh, take down witches that are wrapping around the flank as well. So if we put the giant bombs outside by like a Tesla, not only will that help you deal with hogs that are, won't see it coming, they'll path outside of the base or they'll be having uh, flanking hogs coming to the side here and they'll all path into that giant
giant bomb and take them out where they're not expecting then that'll help deal with that but it also takes out those witches as they're moving up the flanks here and that make sure that you don't go down to a witch slap very easy so those are two ways to deal with uh the or to place those giant bombs now let's go look at the air traps all right, so the placement of air traps is also kind of coincides with your placement of air defenses and wizard towers. Well, first of all, wizard towers and air defenses should never be placed right next to each other. So basically what you want to do is test around your base and make sure none of your wizard towers have a range that overlaps onto the air defense. If it does and a hound parks onto that air defense, then it's going to make so that this wizard tower is shooting the hound and not shooting approaching balloons. So you want to make sure that this wizard tower has as much chance as it can to always be targeting balloons and to take down those big packs very, very fastly. Wizard towers are your primary defense to stop balloons in those La Loon raids and we want to give it every chance that we can. We also want to pop those hounds very, very quickly, so we put seeking air mines next to the air defenses that'll also protect you against dragons. So if any dragon does get close enough to that air defense to actually hit it, then it will it'll get hit by a seeking air mine and probably take out the first dragon that approaches it, meaning they'll have to have multiple dragons approach that air defense to have a chance of bringing it down. So the red mines here are placed next to the wizard towers. We don't want hounds to trigger our air bombs because they don't do an appreciable amount of damage to those lava hounds and we want them to hit the balloons and actually guard our wizard towers. So if we have a wizard tower and an air bomb hitting a pack of balloons, that pack of balloons is very likely to go down before it hits that wizard tower or at least give that wizard tower a fighting chance to stop them and give a chance to stop a lot of them, right? So that's how you place all your air traps and your wizard towers and your air defenses through the base. All right, next up, let's look at a few ways that you can get the best effect out of hidden Teslas. So hidden Teslas will have four primary ways that you can use them. One is to hide giant bomb locations outside of the walls there and to have something for hogs to go after to go outside of the base to go hit that giant bomb. So that'll help you deal with witches, that'll help you deal with hogs. And we can also kind of do a little bit of tweak here. This doesn't conceal the location, but we can also use like mortars on the outside of the walls to lure hogs out. And that doesn't uh, hide the location from the witches so they can plan for that a little bit easier. But if you have like four mortars set up outside of your base like that, then they can generally, uh, they can't plan for all of them. Like if it's on every side, then they're not gonna be able to avoid those with witches. So that's another way that you can deal with uh, or hide those uh, giant bombs outside of the base there. And so next up, we wanna look at Teslas to mess up funnels. So let's say, uh, I'll just use this uh, sweeper as a token to show like a queen path as a queen charge would be approaching into your base. So what is the queen normally going after? Well, she's normally going after your queen to go set up for a hog or a law loon attack. So if the queen starts marching into the base here and she wants to go up this way, then we want to get something to lure her and make her go the wrong way. So if they are able to look at the base here and they see, uh, for example, like if I had an air defense there, this queen would be able to step up, shoot the air defense over the wall here and be able to easily funnel and go this way. They'd only need to clear like this uh, elixir collector here and they would be able to see that the queen was gonna go that way very, very easily. And so we wanna actually keep these buildings here, one tile or I think four tiles past the corner so that she might uh, go here and she would actually turn around and go after the air defense. But if we don't want to do that and we wanna try to trick them, then we can put uh, Tesla over here and put that four tiles away from the corner instead so that the queen while she's standing right here she wouldn't be able to reach the Tesla if it was right here she'd be able to reach it after a pop but if it's right here and it's triggered like maybe like a wizard or something like that was uh, going to form the side of the funnel to clear this elixir collector or a baby dragon and then that hidden Tesla popped and that made so that the queen had something now to target around the corner and she may not continue that way she'll go around the corner to reach that Tesla Tesla, and then she could continue going that way and really mess up the funnel and cause a fail on the raid. So that's one way you can use a Tesla to screw up a funnel. And now another way you can do it is uh, uh, use Teslas as a kind of like a high damage unexpected area where you can just pile all of your Teslas into one area. This is called a Tesla farm. Sometimes we'll hide in some giant bombs with it to really cause some serious damage as any troop tries to move through there and they will be completely caught off guard and they will not have a plan for that. If they know where it is, then they can generally deal with it. But most people, uh, they, they're not going to plan for it. They don't expect a full on, uh, what, 
400 extra damage of uh, Teslas just springing on them unexpectedly, and it, it really throws them off guard. Try to throw these Tesla farms at the most probable end of a Laloon path through the base. So usually on the flank of where the Queen uh, charge or a kill squad entry might enter, and this will also serve as an extra purpose of luring giant or hogs out into giant bombs, and it'll also uh, potentially throw off a funnel here if they were trying to do that other thing. So it kind of all works together there. So like this would be an awesome location for a Tesla farm if the queen was right here and they were trying to go in up here to access her. So that's one way. Uh, yeah, uh, next up is the last and most simple way to use Teslas and that is just throwing a troll Tesla in the corner there. And you want to make sure that that is opposite of the most probable entry of a Lawland, or on the same side as most probable. So like if the Lawland was gonna be entering in from the three o'clock area to here to rush this base and then circle around after they took out the queen here, then the Tesla over here behind their starting location would be able to throw off that pathing. And if they put any balloons too close to the Tesla or any hogs too close to it, then they will not turn into the base and it'll make a handful of them unexpectedly turn around and go backwards and get separated from the group. And they're gonna have that's gonna give you a chance to pick off more balloons as these ones are lagging behind or hogs, whichever it is. And the troll Teslas can often cause a time fail if people don't notice it and they drop all the troops. So kind of a bonus effect there to hidden Teslas. And traps in general usually are what separates a good base from a bad base. So if you can follow these basic tips to get them in the right positions, then you're gonna have a lot of success with your uh, or with your bases in general. So now let's go build a base here and make sure that we can follow all these rules and we'll just kind of go, uh, we'll wing it here and see if we can make an awesome base using these rules. All right, so when building a new base, the first thing I like to drop is the Expos and try to build a way to defend them. They are your primary defense. They deal out some serious damage and we wanna make sure that they are protected. So a common way that you can protect them is by putting a box around them Oop, I missed it, there we go. All right, so we'll put a box around them and we can shift the base around here a little bit. And this will make so that uh, bowlers and uh, wizards and stuff like that can't hit them, but the queen can still hit them and witches can still hit them. So we wanna make sure that this compartment is surrounded by smaller compartments that are more difficult to move through. So we want to maybe, uh, maybe I can put like a weird barrier here with some dead space. Uh, I could put on the other side here, I can put some smaller compartments like this, and we'll just kind of wing it here and see if we can find a good way to set this up. And maybe I can put a, we'll keep this compartment fairly small as well. And something like that, that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, let's uh, actually make so that this compartment extends out a little bit. So the wall breakers, if they went into this corner here, wouldn't be able to open up access to the expo. So we'll uh, extend this compartment out and get it like that. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, putting on some extra walls there. All right, so this is a nice little start. We'll continue building on this. And let's, let's go uh, put a larger compartment here maybe. And we'll uh, let's play around here. Make something pretty. It doesn't need to be all symmetrical and stuff like that. Just kind of throw them down, try to confuse the attacker, make them have to think here. We'll have a larger compartment here. And let's see, we'll uh, maybe block off this corner here so they can't shoot the expo with the queen over the wall. Now we have some small compartments. Now the expo is very well protected. We can do something similar on the opposite side of the base over here. So maybe we could do like a, oh, let's see. Let's do another compartment like that, maybe. There we go. There we go. So we can throw that in there. We'll do, oh, I got an idea, I got an idea. Here we go. We'll throw this like that. Then, oh, I run out of walls. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> we'll throw, uh, we'll use like a, we'll put some extra buildings in this part, or there's an empty space here to shield off that expo from the internal and make sure they can't reach it over the walls here. So four tiles away from this wall should keep that expo protected. And so they can't not reach it over the walls. And then we'll use some external compartments here to protect it a little bit more. And we'll uh, readjust the walls here to get uh, some corners or some space off of the edge of the map here so we don't 
run out of room here, but we'll uh, do that. And then we'll do a compartment like that around that expo. And it's looking pretty good. I feel like Bob Ross here <laughs> making art because that's really what base building is. It's like, it's like art. So there we go. Uh, we'll, uh, let's build it like that. And maybe we could throw an extra compartment here. And we want these compartments to be at least seven tiles deep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a wall. So we'll uh, actually make this wall go out there. We'll delete these extra walls here. And we will, I mean, just it's just kind of random here. I mean, it's starting to come together. Like, look what we're building already. We already have something beautiful going on here. We'll be able to fill it all in and make sure that we can have a solid base here. But we'll uh, wrap that up to here. We'll close that in. And let's go with, uh, maybe we can make a little island out here where it's like separated from the rest. I don't know. Well, actually, no, let's make so it's a little bit more difficult to get into a queen. So let's choose our queen location next. We'll put her kind of internal to the base here. Maybe like, I don't want her to be reachable from outside of the base. So maybe we could put her here and I could close off this compartment. We could, uh, let's, we'll make that. Oh. <laughs> we'll make this one seven tiles deep again, and oh, oh, there. Oh, I think it just bugged. There we go. <laughs> this uh, base builder mode is so buggy. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight's fine. So uh, we'll keep it at that. Actually, no, we'll, we'll decrease it one. We'll decrease it one. So we'll grab this section of walls here, and we'll move it in one. The so one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the wall. And will that keep my queen from being accessible from outside the base? It does. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll just kind of close off this and we can have it shoot. Oh, I ran out of walls there. So let's uh, collapse that just a little bit. And one more, there we go, perfect. All right, so now our walls are all set up. So now we just need to start filling in the base here. So we want to place the, the air defenses, and I want to make so that I have my air defenses relatively spread out, and I want to make so that I, that a Sui uh, heroes will not be able to easily access two of my uh, my air defenses. So we want the air defenses kind of away from the wizard tower. So let's place them. Let's place a uh, wizard tower. We'll put one here. There we go. We'll put a wizard tower there. Let's make sure these. Uh, Expos are on air, and we'll put the bomb towers normally goes next to the queen, so they can't use skelly spells very easily to take her down, probably in this open compartment, and this open compartment will also be able to help deal with uh, any bigger troops that are moving through, like bowlers or whatever it might be, so we'll put it, we'll put it there. I like it right there. So let's uh, put air defenses, we'll go in there, put one, oh, I put it right next to my wizard tower, that's not right. So we'll put it over here. Maybe we'll put all the wizard or the air defenses on one side of the base and the wizard towers on the other side. So maybe we'll keep the air defenses away from the queen. But um, oh, I got an idea. We'll put it like this. We'll put one here and we'll put one where this wizard tower is. And we'll put all the wizard towers on the other side. So we'll put it there. We'll put the last one maybe over here. And then we'll put in the wizard towers. We'll put one up here outside of the range of that uh, air defense there. So we don't have any problems there. We'll put one right here. Same idea. We'll put one, oh, we'll put one over here. And one last one. We'll put it where can we find it that it'll not overlap with my air defenses. I'm thinking, Hmm, a tough one there, huh? Sometimes it's a little bit hard to find spots for them that are away from the air defenses. So let's go with, maybe we can just throw it right in the middle. Yeah, we'll throw it right there. All right, so we can hang out in the middle. Uh, all right, so now let's start making good spring trap locations around the base. I want to put cannons normally over by my air defenses to guard them. So put a cannon there, put a cannon uh, there, 
<laughs> there. <laughs> we'll put a, maybe a giant bomb location right here. I like that. I like that. So it's away from the queen, so they probably won't be able to clear that with the queen charge. And we'll put some spring traps in here. We'll put in uh, some more cannons in this other side compartment right there. And these cannons will help guard those air defenses. And maybe I can squeeze two into that one. So we'll squeeze a second cannon in right there. And we'll spring, uh, we'll put a couple giant bombs into these, or excuse me, uh, spring traps because we got one tile. So we'll put spring traps there and there. And then let's go with some other defenses here. We got some archer towers and some mortars to still place. So we'll, uh, we got some empty space in here. So we'll put the, probably put the air sweepers in there. We have some space to spare. We'll throw in a archer tower there. We'll, uh, Ooh. I was thinking to put a. Oh, I was thinking to put spring trap right here, but it's right next to the queen, so probably a kind of a waste of a spring trap location if I wanted to put one in there. So we'll uh, we'll avoid that. We'll go with uh, something up by this uh, wizard tower. Maybe we can throw in an archer tower there. We can throw in archer towers here. Actually, I want a cannon here. I want a cannon here. I got some good air coverage in that area there, so a cannon there. Maybe we can throw a storage there to make a little blockade uh, so we can't get in there very easy. We'll do the same thing like right here. Uh, so we just, it blocks access into the into the Archer Queen there a little bit. We can throw in, I will just do a two storages there. I like that. There we go. <laughs> All right, oh, keep opening the chat there. And Let's see, let's put the king to block access to the queen. So they have to burn a rage to get into the queen. So maybe I can put the king like right here so that he's kind of guarding access into the, uh, getting to that queen or maybe up here. I'm not sure. Well, we'll put him, we'll put him right there. I think that looks good. And then we need to put the, the clan castle in, which I completely forgot. So we'll uh, take this archer tower out. We'll put the clan castle into the port. There we go. We're looking good, guys. We're looking good. Live base building at its best here. So we'll put a archer tower up there. We'll put an archer tower in here. We'll throw in uh, something into this compartment here to kind of fill it out. We'll throw in uh, like storage as internal. There we go. Storage as internal always uh, slow things down a lot. And then we'll put in. I got a couple more archer towers. So we'll put another archer tower in, I don't know. I don't really like that compartment. Notice how this compartment, it, I would like it to be like one tile wider here so that I could actually uh, be able to guard this archer tower. It's nice and it's four tiles in from the outside wall here, but on this side, I would be able to reach it. So where's the queen most likely gonna be charging if they were sending in a queen charge? It needs to go in after the enemy queen here. So they want to charge into it would probably want to wrap around this corner and break into this compartment most likely so we will oh, that wall. we'll put this archer tower so it's four tiles from this side but it's exposed on this side a little bit which will it'll be all right there so i like that we'll throw another storage in here to do some more blocking and maybe we could throw in oh how about a barracks there we go <laughs> i like it Maybe we can throw another defense into that compartment. What do I got left? I got more archer towers. I got my Teslas, which will place... I want some of my archer towers maybe on the outside. We'll throw in some low value targets here that would just kind of block up that queen for a while and, or any troops that's going in after my heroes. So a lot of storages in this area would do really well for that. Uh, that'll make so that anything that goes in after the queen here is going to get slowed down a lot. So. We'll try to, let's see, if anybody's going in with like a kill spot to go for hogs or something like that, then they would be going after the king and the queen and the CC here. So we want to make sure that we have a way to, uh, we want to make sure that all of our spring traps are generally on the opposite side of the base here so that we can hit as many of the, the uh, hogs that would be going through this far side of the base primarily. So I think that's looking pretty good so far. Let's see if we can find some more good spring trap locations. So. If they're going in for hogs, they'll come in from there. So let's throw some more springs right here. And maybe we can throw in a Tesla right here. 
Actually, wait, over here, over here. I think a Tesla right here would do really well. And then I could throw in a couple spring traps like that. And that would protect that expo. Uh, and it really just make a big headache for hogs that would be passing through this area. Like, look how many spring traps there. If they like punched in right here, going after the queen and the king, and then they went in right here with their hogs, we would lose like all of their hogs right in the entry and they would have no chance of reaching the other side of the base. And it, would, uh, it was smoking real fast. So now let's look at, what do we got left? I got two archer towers. We'll use those maybe external to the base there. We'll uh, decide those in a second, but let's use something to block the king and the queen here. So let's put the town hall over here. This is a war base. So we put the town hall on the outside. It's mostly just used the same as a storage would be to block outside of the base. And uh, actually, I actually don't really like it right there. Maybe more right here. Yeah, I like it there more. So if people are sending in a uh, wall breakers or something like that then we want to make sure that we can block those wall breaker entries so we'll put small bombs right here as we put it right there we'll put another one right there and we'll fill in this area over here as well so we'll put in small bombs there three tiles away from the wall so if they're pathing in wall breakers here they're gonna be coming in from over here and it'll be pathing to get in so uh that should work we'll put a bunch of trash out in this area here just to block that entry a bit and make it more difficult to funnel it in and then on the other side over here this is the most other most probable entry for the them going after the queen to go in after your queen to set up a law loom so let's make sure we have plenty of air traps so we'll put some uh, black or red excuse me, black mines over here and here and here and we'll put another one here which will also stop the a queen charge moving in that area snipe off like uh, one of the snipe off one of their uh, healers so if they are going with a law loot attack they're generally going to be coming in from uh this side to go after the archer queen if they're coming in this side they're coming in from hogs because they're trying to get both heroes so spring traps are located on the left side of, or the right side of the base where we want the we want our air sweepers and our air bombs set up to stop a law loon from the other side so if they're going in this side they're probably going to take out this air defense on the entry and then they will so they might punch in like this corner here so let's uh, throw in some small or some bombs there well actually we'll fill in the trash first then we'll fill uh those in so looking pretty good guys looking pretty good let's keep going here we have a couple more defenses actually i want to shift the whole base so they have some room on the edge here to work with Did I shift it too far? No, that's good, that's good. All right, so let's start filling in this area here. So we'll put some storages. Once again, the queen is most likely gonna be entering in this area here. So a lot of storages to tie her up for a long time would really minimize her value there. Uh, we'll put in more stuff. high hit point structures here to slow her down and make so that she has a very slow access to the base. Let's, let's see, let's kind of fill it in. Let's just uh, throw some trash in. We'll sort all that out in a second. Just fill it all in. Nothing, nothing too, we'll just randomize it here and then we'll uh, sort it in a bit. But like the collectors over here for this uh, entry and we'll uh, throw some camps out here just to make it a little bit trickier to get into this area here. Uh, maybe I can do some double layer defense on, or trash on this side just to really complicate that funnel a little bit and make it difficult. I like that. I like that. There we go. It's pretty good. And some more up here. Oh, can't put that down. <laughs> All right, looking good, guys. Looking good. Put that off the corner. Make sure it's still covered by the X. Ah, it's all right. It'll be all right there. This is a fairly easy funnel spot here. We'll uh, see if we can uh, use that uh, information to stop them from, or see if we can use some Teslas or something like that to throw off that funnel. We'll decide that in a second. But let's. 
or we just give up the funnel there, and let them have it, and then trap to predict that they will enter there. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Let's get these mortars down next. So we said that the most likely spot for hog entries would be over here. So we want to make sure that we have our mortars placed on the opposite side of the base of the most likely hog entry. What happened to my walls right here? What the heck's going on? They're still there. <laughs> it looks like there's a hole in my walls. All right, so let's get the mortars down and we'll put them on this side of the base. And maybe we can use some giant, use that to lure out some giant bombs into some unsuspecting areas there. And you replace this barracks, move that out, put a mortar there, and a giant oh, mortar there, giant bomb there, sort of like a builder hut there to block it a little bit. And maybe we do one more over here. This would be a good spot for it. So mortar, giant bomb. There we go. It's looking pretty good. That would definitely catch them off guard going one giant bomb to the next. They might not have a heal prepped for that spot, so that'll wreck them hard. Right on the entry, the most probable entry where they'd be coming into the base. So let's choose the direction of the sweeper next. The sweepers. So I like this one here because if they enter in if they enter in through this area here to go in after my queen, then the law the law loon is gonna either start from over here. And so I have this sweeper pointing at that whole area to slow down the balloons progress through the base right there while we're popping hounds. That is the most likely spot that they're gonna be entering in uh, with the balloons. So let's uh, make sure that if they do come in the other side here, we have this sweeper set up to stop them from that side. So maybe put it like that and it should be all right. I like that. Ooh, actually, we'll put it up here. Oh no, I want to keep it away from where the queen might, uh, where the queen will be able to take out their sweeper. So we'll keep it on this side and we will put it like that. And we can, yeah, I like that. So any troops that are trying to come in, oh, we'll actually point it like that. There we go. <laughs> so if the loons are coming in, they're going to have to face both sweepers. And, oh, actually, hold on, because they might come in from this side as well to get to the queen. Less likely, but they could. So that would make so. I don't know. We'd have to we'd have to go through and base test it here after we build it and make sure that that makes sense with that sweeper position. But we'll leave it like this for now, and we'll see how it handles, and then we'll go back and adjust it after I do base testing to see if uh, if it holds up like that. So let's get in some more uh, archer towers. So I have a couple more here, so I can find areas that have low archer tower coverage. And so maybe I could throw in and out here, outside the walls. Uh, actually, I'll put it there so the queen, if she passes through, doesn't grab that archer tower very easy. And maybe I can shift that over one and throw a spring trap if I got any left. Nope, I'm out of spring traps. No worries. All right. I still like it. So that's good for that. One more archer tower to place. Keep it away from the queen charge entry uh, for the Lalun. We'll put it maybe the top of the base? I don't know. Hmm. Tough decision here. Ooh, actually out here. I like that out here. No, that's where all their defenses are. I want to kind of away from their defenses. I think it's got to be down here. Let's put it right here. There we go. I like that. I like that. So we'll uh, stop access to this compartment, so we'll finish placing these small bombs. Catch them off guard there. And get the last small bombs over here at this probable location for entry. So probably send in wall breakers right there. And I'm one short on small bombs, so let's try to move one of these over. Let's uh uh, that's a pretty advanced wall break right there. Let's, they probably won't do that one. We'll move this small bomb over to here. And we need some trash right here to fill that in. There you go, that's looking pretty good. And one more, I got one more mortar here, so let's place this mortar. Let's put it up here. Oh, no, I actually don't like that. I don't like that. Let's put it... Hmm. I don't know. 
I don't even know. Oh, we'll put it right here. No, I don't like that either. I don't like it. Where do we put this mortar, guys? <laughs> I need a spot for it. I don't have. I don't need to put it anywhere to draw giant bombs because I already have good giant bomb locations all the way around here. And let's put it. I don't know. I'm at a loss here. I'm at a loss. We'll throw it into this corner here. Like that. That'll work. All right. That's pretty good. We got a little bit more trash here to throw in. We'll throw in a little bit more to card this corner. We'll throw in a... So if they enter right here, going after the queen, then they will clear... They would uh, attack into the queen right here, and they would start their law loon down here. So maybe I could throw a troll Tesla into this corner, and they would miss it on the way through. And if they send in hogs, they would come in right in through here, and they would... Uh, if they survive all the way to the top expo, Regardless of which way they go, they're either gonna, their hogs are going to end up here or they're going to end down here. So we'll put this Troll Tessa all the way out here where they won't see it coming. And that should do some pretty good uh, thing there. We'll actually throw a Builder Hut up there, catch them off guard. And let's throw a Builder Hut in all the corners there just to make them bring some archers. Why not? <laughs> Alright, there we go. And a Troll Tesla. Do I want more than one Troll Tesla? Let's throw one in this corner too. And then we'll use the last Tesla. Uh, we'll use it to throw off the Queen Charge Funnel. So maybe I, if she's and if she wants to push in right here to go after this wall up at the top here, then hmm, actually there's not a real good spot to put it there to get her to go off course. So we'll just uh, we'll just do another Troll Tesla. We're gonna have three Troll Teslas on this one. Since I don't really have a good spot, I didn't do a Tesla farm on this one, but I shouldn't need one. Now, let's uh, try to figure out what we want to do with these uh, air bombs here. So, we'll keep these air bombs relatively away from the air defenses. So, oh, that's a skeleton trap. We'll deal with those in a second. We'll put the air bombs up here, like I said, between uh, between wizard towers and expos are really good spots for them. We'll put another one there so that they are... Uh, basically, as they're approaching the end of their air defense pathing, they're going to have to deal with those. Well, I might actually take out this wizard tower on the queen charge approach, so or the kill squad approach. So we'll actually put it closer to down here. So if they get to those air sweepers, then they are getting hit by a couple bombs there, a couple there. I like that. It's pretty good. Now we'll keep it there. We'll keep it there. Right there. There we go. <laughs> All right, we got two buildings left. Let's put our skelly traps. Uh, we can either put them on air in this area here with the with all the air defenses, or we can put them on ground and put them to either guard the or slow the queen or to go for. Hmm. Oh, actually, I just realized I forgot one thing. I want to make sure that the CC is not lurable easy, so I want to make sure that I have some mortars up here. We'll actually move that out, move that over, and we'll move this final mortar that I was having trouble deciding where to place, and we'll put it up there. So now, is the CC lurable? No, it has to go through the mortar, so that should work. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That, uh, Use some troops there to actually get to that mortar. That should be that should be good. All right. Actually, I just got an idea. Let's uh, grab this last Tesla that I wasn't sure what to do with, and we'll use it to if they try to use the the mortar's placement here to lure the CC. Then I will mix so that they go to the Tesla second, and it'll also guard all those trash buildings out here. So if they try to go after the mortar, then the next building that it would target. Ah, like if a balloon or a hog went in there after the mortar, then the next balloon or building would be the hidden Tesla, and then they'd go to the wizard tower, so give them a chance to get them into this air defense range and this uh, archer tower, and give a chance to bring those troops down. So that might throw off the the hog not getting, the, or a balloon not pulling the CC that they were trying to lure it there. So I like that more. I like that more, guys. So now let's get in these air skellies, or ground skellies. We'll do... We'll do air skellies, I'm thinking. No, we'll do ground skellies. We'll do ground skellies. We'll put one ground skelly over here, 
And we'll put one right here to slow down a Queen Charge. Give her some extra stuff that she's had in the fight. We want that Ground Skelly to trip right as she is drawing the CC. Right there, perfect. Perfect. All right, we're good guys, we're good. Yeah, I really like that. So now, what do we wanna run in the CC for this? Well, we're pretty well set against almost everything, except for, uh, I still think we have a, we might have some vulnerability to a kill squad attack or something like that. So I like to run a Hound CC. If you wanna run a uh, damage CC, then you can. Damage CC being uh, like Valkyries or uh, Baby Dragon Witches, stuff like that. But I think the Hound CC does the best against almost pretty much everything. It ties up the Queen for a really long time and gives the defenses a chance to bring her down. So we will run this with a Hound CC, but that is gonna be this uh, base all done. We'll draw a little smiley face over here with the flowers and we're out of here. So we're gonna half smiley face with the flags. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, that's it for today, guys. There we go. We just built a completely unique base from scratch. You guys can copy that one if you want. I might go try this out in war. I'm going to do a little testing on it. Hopefully it works out. But we used all the base building techniques to make this happen. So go give it a try. Go use these base building techniques to build your own bases. I don't know why these walls are still bugging out here. But whatever. We got it. There's a scout view there and a just walls there oh that's why what the heck is this wall what's going on here with these walls here let's save it and then edit it there now they're right there we go i don't i don't know why it pops out like that but there we go guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and take it easy